Manchester United is a club that prides itself on its history. Founded in 1878 as Newton Heath and going through the years, going through the wars, going through the Busby Babes, going through the 70s, 80s, and of course the 90s and the 2000s and the dominance that we had there. And Old Trafford has been the soul of that since 1910. So the idea of it being demolished is a terrifying one for so many fans. What I want to do in this video is speak and run through the three options that we've been presented with as fans for the redevelopment of Old Trafford. And one of those options is demolishing Old Trafford and building a brand new stadium. I want to run through not the pros and cons of each, but I want to run through every option and discuss it with you in the comments. So please, if you would consider subscribing, if you do, I suppose, learn something by the end of the video, go down there, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell as well if you want to get a ding every time I go live with a video. But as I said, the history of Manchester United, it's long and it's esteemed. And the history of Old Trafford runs deep. It's in the veins of our club from 1910, the whole way through. But since 2006, you can see down there, Old Trafford has not been expanded. The capacity of Old Trafford has not changed. And if you go back in the, you know, there's people, there, there's grandkids, there's three generations, four generations maybe of Manchester United fans that have been at Old Trafford. And it means so much to so many people. And it still does. And it still is a wonderful stadium. But Old Trafford was once the crown jewel of stadiums in arguably world football. And that's just not the case anymore. I don't need to show you this video, but I'm going to anyway, of the leaking roof inside Old Trafford that famously went viral. I think it was last year after a massive storm. And look at the seats getting absolutely pummeled there by the water. It's ridiculous. And then if you look at the concourses at Old Trafford, the facilities just, they just don't match up now when compared to the best in world football, which is why we're at the situation where we're talking about three potential options for the development of Old Trafford. Number one is knocking Old Trafford down and building a new state-of-the-art stadium in its place. Number two is to expand the South Stand to increase the capacity to over 80,000. And the third is a complete revamp of Old Trafford without expanding that South Stand. So let's run through these options. Let's see which is the best. And of course, you can let me know what your opinions are in the comments below, because this is just an opinion, this video. This is not me telling you what's right and what's wrong. Opinions are like arseholes. Everyone's got one. Some are dirty, some aren't. That's kind of irrelevant to that point, though. But this is what the club's officially said on which of these three options the club prefers. And there is an obvious headline here to take. The club's intention was to remain on the same site and take a phased approach so the team would not need to move away. So in an ideal world, what Manchester United want to do is copy Liverpool. Liverpool right now, I believe this summer coming up, I think they're going to do an expansion to Anfield Road, which adds another 7,000 seats. And I think they've already just done an expansion to the main stand. Liverpool have been able to do that whilst staying at Anfield. They've been able to increase and improve Anfield. Will, would we be able to do that with Old Trafford? That's the big question. So if we were to go over here and we were to look at number one, South Stand expansion to 80,000 plus capacity. Now, this has been the conversation that's been going on for a long, long time in and around Manchester United. The South Stand expansion has always been the one that we've wanted to do. It's the only single tier. If you compare the South Stand to the other three stands, you can just see it's the most underdeveloped one, but you can see exactly why as well. Look down at the bottom of the picture. Look at that train going along that railway line. That railway line and this set of residential houses has posed the problem to the South Stand expansion. It's the reason it's not happened to date, and it's the reason why it still poses a massive political, social, and economic problem that Manchester United, until this point, have not been able to solve. So the fact that we haven't done it yet probably tells me that we won't ever do it. Maybe that could change. But I think the South Stand expansion will be extremely difficult to do. So if that's not going to be the case, then what could Manchester United do? The idea of the complete revamp of Old Trafford, and as I said, look, you might hate me for bringing up Liverpool, but there's so many clubs around us and our biggest rivals that have done so many things correctly over the last 10 years when we've just sat on our hands. And now our rivals have got a leg up on us and we have to try and gain the ground back that they've gained on us. 
like Man City building an incredible training facility. Man United have now got to do that to Carrington. Carrington has fallen behind. It used to be the cream of the crop. Not anymore. It's just a middle of the middle of the range now, Manchester United, as a football club, as a football team, as a stadium, as a training facility, middle of the stadium. Stadium, middle of the ground, whatever you Midler. We're bet Midler. We used to be absolutely on top of the world. That's not the case anymore. And for me, the idea that we could expand Old Trafford from within. Not expand Old Trafford from within, sorry, revamp Old Trafford. For me, I've that would cost, not for me personally, but I'm looking at the pros and cons of it. That would cost an insane amount of money because of how neglected it has been. All right? Old Trafford, as I said, once upon a time, just used to be incredible. It's not the case anymore. Because of a lack of investment in the 15 years since 2000, 16 years, sorry, since the Glazers took over, if we had... Every single year for 10 million, 10, 15 million. And, you know, we have done certain things. I'm not saying we've not done nothing, but the majority of the money that the, gets spent on the old, Traf old Trafford every year is a simple upkeep. I, I think it costs around about 10 million each year to actually just upkeep. But if we had spent 10 million per year improving segments on segments, bit by bit by bit, we wouldn't be left with this situation now where it's like a full blown heart transplant, leg transplant and lung transplant at the same time whilst trying to keep the team there. Logistically, it almost feels impossible. I don't know how they do it, and the roof as well. It's an insane job that would go over the period of like five, six, seven, eight, nine years, a long time. Of course it would. And it bears the question of whether it could happen. It strikes me as the most unrealistic of those three options, which leads us to number one, which leads us to talk about demolishing Old Trafford. As I said, this is not something that any United fan really wants to consider. But hand on, hand on heart here, I think it's something that we have to consider. I don't think it's something that we can just outright ignore as an option. Now, the first reaction to that is probably going to be anger, of course. I don't want Old Trafford to be demolished, all right? I'm not coming here saying knock my goddamn stadium down. It's the home of Manchester United. I don't want that to be knocked down. But it's been so neglected. I wonder whether it's going to be feasible to just revamp it. And the fact that we haven't ever been able to expand the South Stand, how is that going to now change? Hopefully it does. But if it doesn't, what do we do? Now, the question mark you can say is saying, look, Sam, why, why can't we do it? You know, they've done it at the Bernabeu. They've done it at Anfield. Why can't we just expand the stadium and stay in it? Why can't we do the building work whilst we're there? As I said, I think it comes from the lack of investment built up over the years that makes that quite unsustainable. And the thing that I want to, I just want to start the conversation, I suppose. For the life of me, I don't want to leave Old Trafford. But for the life of Bayern Munich fans, I bet you they didn't want, or maybe they did want to leave the Munich Stadium. Maybe that would be a bad example. But for the life of Juventus fans, maybe they didn't want to leave uh, Stadia Alpi. Uh, but now that look at their stadium that they've got there. Maybe Spurs fans didn't want to leave White Hart Lane. But the stadium they've got now is extremely, extremely impressive and gives them a massive bit of future proofing and you could probably pull this one up now this is West Ham if you were to ask um, West Ham fans before that game uh, there against Sevilla whether the London Stadium was a good stadium they would probably all have said no but now that they've got a bit of history inside that stadium history and moments and players and teams they create stadiums not the stadiums themselves Old Trafford isn't the home it is simply because it's Old Trafford it's because of the memories that everybody has got there right if we're looking at potential options there, I think Barcelona and the new camp have probably lined out how Manchester United could do that. And it's about naming rights. And that's going to bring a whole different conversation. How can you not call Old Trafford Old Trafford? Well, shit me, if we get a new stadium and we don't have to pay for it, or at least a massive chunk of it is paid for by a sponsor then hell yeah, I will do that. Because I tell you the one thing, the one overriding fear I've got about all of this, right? You can talk about all your expansion of, of Old Trafford. You can talk about the South Stand expansion. You can talk about the complete revamp. You can even talk about a brand new stadium going in the place of Old Trafford. Is that really going to happen when we've got the Glazers as our owners? And if it is, how do you think we're going to pay for it? 
This idea scares the crap out of me because the most realistic option is they take out another massive loan. They use another part of Manchester United as a further asset to lay against it. They leverage it again. They get five, six, seven hundred million from the bank. They invest it into the club, but it's it's our we're paying for it. The debt's going to go boom straight back up to over a billion to pay for this new stadium. That scares the crap out of me because if that happens, we go through a massive period of austerity, like Arsenal did after the Emirates, uh, like Spurs have been well for a long, long time really in preparation for that new stadium. How can we talk about rebuilding a new stadium when our football club is crumbling? That's the big question I've got. That's the over, overarching question I've got now. Is uh, I'm all for the expansion of Old Trafford. I'm all for the revamp of Old Trafford. I'm all for a new stadium. I'm all for one of them. But is now the right time to be having that conversation when Manchester United, as a football club, is struggling to rebuild itself on and off the pitch? Can we really talk about rebuilding or building an entirely new stadium? It doesn't feel like the timing is right. That's my own gut instinct on that one. But I really want you to let me know in the comments what you think about all three of those. Because it hurts me to say, but I don't think the idea of Old Trafford being knocked down and a new stadium being built in its place can be ruled out categorically, simply because of nostalgia. Nostalgia will get you stuck without winning a league title for 30, 40 years. And I'll tell you what, I don't fucking want that and you don't want that. Modern football has left Manchester United behind on and off the pitch in every single sense of the word. So I just don't, I, I think it would be foolish and based simply on nostalgia and emotion for Manchester United fans to simply rule out the idea of demolishing Old Trafford. I'm not, I'm not here with a pickaxe saying let's go and do it right now, but I want to have a conversation about it with you in the comments. So please, would you let me know what you think about the three options? Which one of those three, A, appeals to you more? B, do you think is the most realistic option for Manchester United? And C, what could we really expect to happen with the Glazers as owners? Would we just be paying for that with more debt on the club? Or is there a way around it like naming rights? And is that something that you would be willing to discuss as a fan? Or is that something you're just categorically against? You need to let me know what you think in the comments below. But Bayern, they've got the Allianz Arena. They seem to be happy in their new home. They won European Cups there. They won titles there. Barcelona, they've got Spotify New Camp now. Pretty sure they're going to win titles there. Pretty sure they're going to win European Cups there. Who's to say if it was Coca-Cola, Old Trafford, that United couldn't go on to win uh, European Cups and titles there again? It's the history that gets made in the stadium that makes the stadium. If that was to change at Manchester United, I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident that something else would happen. But you need to let me know what you think about everything I've said in this video, about everything to do with Old Trafford. All right? It's a really important subject. And now that we don't have football for a couple of weeks, it's important that we have these conversations, right? So let me know what you think in the comments below. And as I did say at the start of the video, please would you consider subscribing to United People's TV. If you enjoyed the content, you let me know.